Why you took sign? This is going to you. Just heard your WhatsApp there a few minutes ago. I'm only back from Hawk and didn't reply to you. So the phone was at home all day. Simon, you told me there now, Simon. You told me the whole time that you'll box you for 10,000 you give me a date. I'm asked in February, he said you'll give me a date in January. Now you says I put my thousand pound down and I'll give you a date when you're good and ready. And you put the other nine thousand down. Simon, by the looks of Simon, you're not fighting me. You're putting down no thousand. You're afraid to fight me. I'll accept that you're afraid to fight me anyway. The thousand pound stick up for a hole because the whole lobby's putting a hundred pound in a man that buy a bed behind it was I won't phone shop bar getting a missing. I understand what you're saying, Simon. They have the houses and windows over for, for the chiller's behalf. I will leave that over. I'm giving word I will leave that over. But it's like this, Simon. When I don't come across you, Martin, or Francie, horny friends, right? I am cutting you from top to bottom. Another thing is, uh, Francie saying, oh, when I Tom asked him to fight, he'd bring out in bracelets and rings and cars and all that. Francie, I give you a car and tick. Don't, don't forget about that. Another thing, Francie, is, uh, what I bought, I bought all my own pockets on 17 years of age. Anyone knows me, I always had a good car or anything. But it's all in my own pocket. Francie, you and Anne, and you made sure for to do a claim in the blue transit the ways you can get the prize of a positive of a house for celebrating that time. Remember that time, Francie? Another thing is saying, Simon, you're not boxing. I'm actually the whole time from February. You did say it. You're putting down £1,000 kick of money and you put the rest £9,000. Simon, you're not coming out to me. The only time I take you serious, Simon, is when you put down the 10000 and that's when I just start my training. I would look on the boy and kiss him a horn and put a time on his thoughts of you. Right, uh, let's sum up my last video there, lads. I'm going to make an example of this. So, Francie, I'm going to say one thing to you and one thing only to you. You're stuck in a soup kitchen. You've nowhere to be got. If you try to act a little manning, it's your brothers getting, not you. Do you understand that? You little dirty, work rat bastard. Wait, one chair. more thing. Francie, in a soup kitchen, you're saying all this and saying in all cot, that. And I do this and I do that. Francie, you told me meet me at the school. The guard barrack is right beside the school in Leapstrip. I will, I will take me time to get you, but I will get you. If you're that brave, Francie, give me your address if you're not bothered about me. Give me your address and we'll see who's afraid or who's not afraid. I'm in Navan Sight, the second trailer on the left. You give me your address. Because by God, I know you won't give me your address. But when I do come across it, Francie, you're going to be a sorry, sorry man. Mark my words. We know where Martin is living. We know where everyone of your brothers living. Put it that way. We know where Simon is living. Hold on, because Simon got a visit already, as my brother John says in the early on. So I'm telling you now. Get off your WhatsApps, put down your money and get these fights settled straight away. Do you understand? One more thing. Another thing is, uh, I know where the whole lot of you live. Martin lives in Silverage. You come to the box and take right, right again. No, we know it's just come. We know the dress. I, said, I was about. outside his house here the other day and I wouldn't go around and say, I said, focus, I'll give him a chance. He were, how we know if I'm telling lies of the truth, when he parked his car up against the one on the left hand side, they wouldn't park it in the drive. And it's a silver minibus or something like that there. No, it was. Blue Galaxy. It was. Oh, like a dark Galaxy. Oh, four York anyway. And Francis, you're saying whenever God about I owe, I owe this and I owe that and I owe this and I owe that. <laughs> Francis, name of God, tell me what good car van that you had in your life. 30 odd years of age. What did you ever do? Name one thing you ever done to make a few pounds, Francis. I'll tell you what nothing, he's doing. Nothing. Weed, 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 weed. That's <laughs> all. Name Francis. God, you're making that fuss for going home. Francis, you're outside leash clip here not too long ago, two or three weeks ago, down on your knees, spraying your four wheels. For fuck's sake now, Francis. You go to any scrapyard, you get a set of weeds, aluminium weeds for a tenner. Twenty pound. And you go down spraying them a sand up. You're 13 shots, are you? Shit, 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 shit. That's all. Because you, you don't believe in Hawking. Remember that? You don't believe in Hawking. No, better than you down the dirty teams. road. If you want fights, get your money down, Simon. I can explain oh, you my first story. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Hurry up Let and get not. your money down. Simon, as I this, I know you're not fighting me. I'll take you seriously. Put down your 10,000, I'll take you serious. Now, that's the end of it now, Simon, with Joe and me. And I won't be going around no houses. I won't be doing nothing like this no more. I won't be breaking windows and having children. That's the end of it. It's in a woman's game, breaking windows and bits of pieces. But I am giving the word. If I come across you, boys, I am doing what I have to do. And I'm a man of my word. Mark my words. Up, oh, boys. <laughs>